Welcome back guys, my name is Arnold M. Kilaini. I'm a civil engineer actually. I'm going to show how to do a simple project analysis using HDM4. So HDM4 this is a highway development management system actually. It's what we're doing for road economy, I mean for road appraisal of investments. So I'll start from, I'll assume that you've already done, done your configuration. That means for your HDM4 setup, you have already have your vehicle fleet. I mean, you know the vehicle categories which are assessing your road network. I mean, if it's NMT, if it's heavy, good vehicles, if it's cars, medium or then road network, you have already established a network if it's either paved or unpaved. Then the work standard, that means you've already established, I mean, you've already introduced the improvement standard or maintenance standard. Then the study, which is the program or the strategy analysis or the project analysis, which I'm going to talk about. Then the reports. So getting back to my HDM4, this is, here it is. So I'll open it. This is the HDM4. Then I have three options here. I have project, program, or strategy. Because I'm talking about project, so I'll make sure project analysis is selected here. So going back to my left here, vehicle fleet. Okay. Going back to my left, I have vehicle fleets. I've already have my vehicle fleets, drone networks, and work standards and projects. So I'll select project analysis and okay. Then I'll give it a name, Temeke, because my project will be about Temeke. Then the road network, because I have a road network already here that's why it's, it's selected but if you don't have one make sure you create one so i'll go for unpaved roads then vehicle fleet is dsm vehicles for because the make is in dar es salaam so dsm is the shortcut of dar es salaam vehicles then okay so upon clicking okay there is a dialogue which opens here so the project name comes here to make it then on my left you have defined project details this is where we are starting with then you have the specified alternatives you need to go there and analyze the project then if you have the mca multi criteria analysis then they generate the reports then here at the bottom we have save and close so we're on general so the description i'll keep it simple upgrading upgrading to paved roads then analyze by so because i have a road i'll treat it as a rule section that means all the road will be as a section so i'll select one section it will, it will ask this will set all mca parameters do you wish to continue i say yes the start year is 2020 obviously because it's 2020 then i'll do the design period of 15 years for instance or let us keep it 20. then road network now because it's selected there previously so it says road network this one the vehicle fleet is already selected there are some vehicles then the fleet yeah times one output currency yeah network so the output currency you need to select so because i'll use the us dollar because i can say it's stable for my case i'll put us dollar so this is the first procedure of general tab section then you have the study section. Now the study section, these are the all roads in Temeke which are unpaved. So I'll select the project roads which I'm looking at per section. So I'll select this one. See, when you select this, then study and now it's selected. Then this one, then this one, then this one, four of them. So upon selecting four of them, the second procedure you're required is to select the traffic growth because I've already set my the traffic data that I have the growth because the different vehicles grow differently so i have already inside in my hdm4 so what i regard is just click here double click it will come here so there is some growth set which is already in my system so i'll keep it assigned so that means i have it run here already so i want only these ones which are project analysis which will be selected so you can always go down back here we have this one show and selected section so when i click this i'll be left with the only section which i want to work with so what i'm required to do i'll just click this then you can assign growth set copy select by criteria view edit section view edit network and vehicle view edit fleet so when i copy this growth set that means i'll paste it all these the remaining ones then the paste growth set has been shown here so i'll click paste then everything is shown and still you can always edit your network for instance when you click this one you can either double click and look at your network you see the name the id the length the carriageway width see the geometry see the altitude is 15 meter from the sea level the pavement Compaction mechanical last gravel year is 2004. So all this information, the IRI, gravel thickness, you see. So you can always, or you can double click, or you can just click here, view edit network. Sorry, view edit network, that means you look at the whole network. So you can click also on view edit section, you can look on the section of the road which is selected. So you can always get back to your road network and vehicle fleet as such. So clicking on vehicle, view edit vehicle fleet, that means you look at the vehicle fleet because I have my uh, 12 categories I have bicycles, bus, media, media, heavy, good vehicles, light, good vehicles, truck. So this is my vehicle fleet already being set in my HDM4. This is where you add, you can add new vehicle here. You can delete, you can edit, description, growth set is already set here. How to set is this one. So this is how you should, you should have done this previously. So I'm just showing you just like an overview. So now getting back to my project now to make it so I've already defined project details. Yeah, this tab is done and this tab study section is done. 
So now I'm going to go to the specified alternatives. So specified alternatives, I have this one, for instance, and this is my section. I have four roads section. I'm treating the whole road as a section. So what I'm going to do right now, I'll just start, for instance, for this one. I have base alternative. Base alternative, it's always there. I mean, your base, like, for instance, what you have. So I'll add now new alternative. So add new alternative. Actually, let me get back to my documentary. So this one. So I have a road section. Now I want to add base alternative. I'll put the gravel ordinary maintenance because the road is unpaved. So I'm thinking about this will be the ordinary maintenance. Then the another 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 improvement alternative will be on upgrades roads in year 2020. So I'll be having two alternatives: this base and the upgrading of road. So I'll keep it now. Go back here. All right, upgrade road in 2020. So I say, okay, so I have two alternatives already. Then, okay, fine. Okay, then I can copy this alternative to each section of the road. Then paste here. Yes, I have it already here. Anyway, let me, let me rewrite it again because it looks like a great road in 2020. Copy this. Okay, then I'll do the same here. Paste. And I'll do the same here. Paste. Okay. So I have already. So when maximizing this, you see, I have base and upgrade. Base and upgrade. So on base alternative now, here. Now it's because it's base. I mean, it's the initial. Initial year we have invested the money. So you do only maintenance assignment. So what the, what's the maintenance assignment? Because you have maintenance and improvement. So the maintenance here, I'll choose this one because you have your gravel road unpaved so it will be having gravel ordinary maintenance so it will start from 2020 okay and it goes to 2039 because i've set for 20 years design i mean so this is how it works from 2020 to 2039 because it's 20 years starting from the year which has been just included in 2020 so okay so i have gravel ordinary maintenance so when i go back now to my this one base alternative when i click on gravel maintenance this is what you have spot gravel at 100 millimeter Regravel intervention greater than five. That means thickness 50 millimeter. You should do regraveling, grading every 12 months when IRI is 16 or more. So the drainage and missing routine maintenance. So these are the kind of works which are supposed to be done during gravel ordinary road maintenance. So now move to upgrade road in 2020. So have two types. You have maintenance. You need to maintain before upgrading it to bitumen. And also you have an improvement because when you when you upgrade it, you need to improve it so as to maintain its level of performance. So I'll choose new maintenance standard, for instance, because I'll do maintenance before upgrading. So you need to maintain it. So 2020, the maintenance should start in the first year. That means the road should be updated, upgraded. I mean, before upgraded, it should be maintained. So I'll click here, OK. So I have here, then a new improvement assignment. So I'll click now because you're improving to, from gravel to bitumen, I mean to paved. So I'll choose upgrade to bitumen. So I have already widening if there is an option. So the upgrade to bitumen will be the same year 2020. So when I click OK, so now I have new maintenance assignment, then upgrade road to bitumen. So ha now after upgrading over road, we know as engineers, you need after upgrading a road, the road should be also maintained, should be given some coverages, like should be maintained section by section so as to to enable it to attain its level in good condition or in fair condition or fair to good. So I'll tick on this post improvement maintenance standard. So when I tick this, you see, sorry, not this one here, add. So when I add here, that means I have compound intervention, the intervention which are required to be done actually like maintenance. So when I say, okay, here, now there you are. So, so now going back to my call, my road now, you see, I have maintenance, before upgrading, that means before road being upgraded to, to paved, that means to be graded at every three months, spot graveling if it is under 100 millimeter, regravel to 50 meter. Then coming to my upgrade now, after giving it to a paved standard, that means to be upgraded to bitumen, existing surface class is unsealed, which is okay. Then the direction compound intervention will be like portal patching after, I mean, after upgrading, you'll do the portal patching reconstruction if the IRI is starts from seven. Thin overlay, layer three reconstruction. So these are the all methods which are all set during the calibration and of, uh, configuration during the HD of project analysis. So now this is the first thing. So the good thing now I've already set my all alternatives actually for one node. So what I'm required to do is I'll copy and paste. So I'll copy assignment here, then I'll post it here. You see, there you are. Now I'm left with only copy and paste. Copy this assignment here, 
then I'll paste it here. You see? Yes, you see the company intervention here with construction 7 IRI, portal patching, heavy patching. So these are the actually the maintenance actually after upgrading a road you need to do some maintenance so that's to to maintain your paved roads to either good condition that's that's it, it so you need to maintain your road do some regular maintenance so this is it so i'm gonna copy now the upgrade road in 2020 copy these assignments to other roads so i'll paste here then the same applies i'll paste assignments here at the bottom here you see paste assignments copy assignments if you want to remove an improvement that means here or you want to remove maintenance that means here if you want another one you just click on here if you want another new maintenance assignment is here so let us expand so as to make sure everything is all set yeah so you see now i have my sagamila road actually it's the code 73996 this has already have maintenance for upgrading road in 2020 before upgrading and after upgrading to bitumen should be also receiving regular maintenance so as to maintain it to perform it i mean to make sure that it is performance in a good condition do the crack ceiling, do the structure overlay at 4RI, then reconstruction at 4RI without forgetting the portal patching. So this is it. So this is how to specify alternatives. So I have my four section of a road which I've just treated. The section of a road is same characteristics of traffic, same construction method, same condition, without forgetting same carriageway way and length. So this is it. So this is these are my four section of the road. Now we're gonna go to another four step, which is to analyze the project. But we go before we go there, let us keep reminding ourselves here. You see, so we have done this, this. Now we're on study, which is the project analysis. So on project analysis, we had base alternative and upgrades upgrade roads in year 2020. Sorry for that. So in the base alternative, that means we have the base alternative that means we maintain our gravel road which is unsealed without utilizing without investing money on our project so this is the base alternative so the other alternative is to upgrade road in 2020 so what you are doing is project analysis that we are trying if we, we are trying to look at our investment so if we put money if you upgrade the road in 2020 are we are we much more reliable that means the road will be feasible that will it be reach the standard of internal rate of return the economic feasibility is it feasible to carry on on this project on our four sections of a road so this is the meaning so we had upgrade road you have to maintain it maintain the road before upgrading then at the same time during upgrading to bitumen you need to do some component intervention that to make sure that it is it is being in a good condition all the time when it's it is paved so getting back to our hdm4 so we have everything set, I've expanded, make sure that everything is all set and try to do multiple cross check before you go to another stage which is to analyze the project which is the heart of this assignment. So then I'll go to the analyze project. So make sure that you have this face uh, interface here on HD4, save and close at the button below. Then set up run, tap sensitivity analysis, run analysis. So on the setup run, make sure conduct economic analysis. This economic analysis is to to test the, the viability of the project sections of the road. So for instance, if it's okay, you want to know what's the economic internal return with relation to the discount rate. So I have discount rate 12, but you can keep it six, you can keep it seven. Now you need to do some research because for my case, in developing countries like Tanzania, I'll use 12%. So it can work for Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, Zambia, moreover. So for our case, I'll put here discount rate 12%. So I can explain something about this. So what you're doing, you're trying to test the feasibility of the project. For instance, if economic return of return is greater than discount rate, that means the project is financial. Okay. Otherwise, if it is less than discount rate, that means not financial. Okay. So for instance, if I have 25 year AIRR, economic return rate of return, that means to change the project is financial. Okay. Unless otherwise, if I get the 10%, that means it is less than this one, 12%. So that means when I click enter, the project is not financial. Okay, so this is the idea in our mind. So getting back to our HTM4 now, yes, conduct economic, economic analysis, discount rate is here. Acceleration effect is checked, which is okay. Emissions and energy balance, these are calculated internally by the HDM4, but for now I'm not going further for that because I, I have to input some parameters which I don't have them for now. Accident cost, if you want to do for accident cost, you can put fatalities, injuries, damage, all. So you can include more data as long as, because this is just a data hungry system, you can put a lot depending on what you're utilizing in your project and you can perform with an asset evaluation because i didn't put any so i'll i won't go further with asset evaluation so you need to run a directory where you want to run this analysis so before running uh, you have to set up here but i can go with sensitivity sensitivity i'm not going to do any sensitivity analysis but this is how it works of motorized vehicles see vehicle operation costs motorized time accidents so run analysis this is the last stage so going back to setup run here i'll browse where i want my project to be saved here 
then select. So this is working folder. I mean, my analysis will be done in that particular folder. Then run analysis. Then push this start button, which has green, the three are red, yellow, and green traffic lights. So I'll click start. There you go. So if it has errors, actually it will stop. But let us wait and see. Wow, six seconds only computer analysis time. So you can see here, section one based. So it is analyzing and gives you, you see, everything perpendicular. So after finishing here, you can just first push save. Make sure you're saving it before going to another procedure. So you have analyzed the project. You see, here's yes, 20 vehicles, 12 section four, alternatives eight, and no sensitivity analysis. It gives you a very good short summary. After done with this analysis project, so you can go for multi criteria analysis, but for my case, I'm not doing any MCA, so I don't have nothing, but you can just go if you want to do the function analysis, comfort and congestion, accident, the economic, which is the road user cost and net present value, the energy, the social benefits, the political, but for now, I'm not doing anything. I'll go straight to my generate reports. So getting back to my generate reports, we have a lot. We have like attributes, traffic, deterioration, work effects, road user effects. So we are focused on this one, cost streams and economic evaluation. So you have the discounted and the undiscounted. But the one which has overall summary is this one, economic analysis summary. So when I click, double click on this, it will give me, wow. So it gives me a very imp impressive report, actually. HDM4, study name is Temeke, the name of the project, run date is 17th September 2020, currency is USD million discount 12 percent analysis by section so getting back to eiri you see 13.9 percent wow that's great that means this one is greater than 12 percent what does this imply economically this means that the project is feasible for this section of a road same applies to this one and same applies to the next page here which is this one 13.9 13.9 so getting back to my excel so if it was 13.9 here enter okay i can just do this you see so the project is financial okay so it's bingo so we are done now so this is a report you can share with a colleague you can export it actually this is the button of exporting so exporting it it asks you what's the format i'll go for excel this one then disk file here yeah, this is okay and okay then it will ask me what i supposed to save it so i'll just put here to make it the name of the project then save wow just like that now i go to my desktop now i have it already so I'll open it. Let's give it some time. There you are. I have my economic summary. So you see the section by section. You see I have this is the IRR. You have the capital recurrent and special and MT travel operating cost for the section of a road, Trendaji Road. Then the other one. Then the other one. We have four of them. So you see. So this is how it looks like. So this is the economic analysis summary. This is how it goes. So you can go back. You can go for other reports if you are interested. Economic indicator summary. You see. You can go for others if you if, if you've done the multi print analysis we could you could have get something because i didn't do anything say so the display this but you must run mc multi -print analysis because i didn't do any didn't do any estimations i didn't do any further input of the data so there is nothing to be shown here so this is how it is so it is a, it is a very actually data consuming application hdm4 that means it helps us to know the viability of the project the same applies asset valuation you can do the manipulation of your valuation of your asset so you can do a lot with this. So this was just a simple project analysis, which actually showing how feasibility of upgrading a road from gravel to all the way to bitumen. So we have, as Excel shows here, that means our project sections road are viable. That means we can get a go high to update our roads to bitumen. So that's it. So thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe because I'm going to drop more videos. Actually, let us just, we're just trying to learn from each other. So ask questions and I'll be glad to answer. So we'll keep learning like that. So thank you very much. Make sure you subscribe. See you next.